Hello, welcome back. This is Peter Kenshin 1913, and we are Let's Playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last episode, we started the game, and now we're through the... I remembered what the name of this place was. The Marble Gallery. Yeah, don't even try to hit me, boomerang skeleton. Breaking all of Dracula, he's gonna be pissed. Destroying all of his sconces. But Alistar don't give it S. He's like, yo, Dad. I don't care, I'm breaking all your glass. Oh, look at him. Alright. And then we have our marionette over here, weird marionette thing. Yeah. And the only reason why I'm going around, like, literally killing everything that I possibly can is experience. Because as you level up, Alucard gets all better stats. And, you know, classic role playing game. Just stab that marionette. And we get our first. Or a second thing is the spirit orb. If we go to our relics here, we could look. So it causes items to materialize, and then it shows enemy damage. Which is pretty nice. Now we know how much damage we're doing to enemies. That's pretty cool. I don't even know if I need it. Do I need anyone? Nope. 77's the max, baby. to a big, big guy. It's gonna be scary looking. Just keep hitting him. Keep wagging away! And there you go. You got it. And here's another boomerang guy. These guys are true boomerangs. But yeah, whoever uh, composed the music is uh, a legend. And then yeah, we have these little things. They're ghost things. And they they suck. No, no, I don't want that. Uh, no, I don't want the mic. All right, here we're coming up to another big guy. Oh my god. Let's use uh, an item. Oh, I died. Wow. Wowee. You know what? I was too focused. Let us go out this evening for pleasure. Tonight is still young. There's the game over screen. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, we're, we're gonna start over. Here's the thing, okay? I was too focused on getting the damn, um... I was too focused on throwing the, um... Throwing the holy water. I should've just been wailing away on My fault. Anyways, it wouldn't be a let's play. My let's play. You'd see me die, so... Take that, marionette. Alright, there we go, level up. There's gonna be an item, I think, or, or an item we're gonna get pretty soon that that will let you know uh, the names of the creatures you're attacking. Nice. 
But yeah, Dracula's got some real nice stuff here. He really went all out. I'm gonna grab these, because... I'm actually gonna throw some holy water at this guy. That way I don't get hurt there. Yeah, this game was great back in the day. Me and my brother would always play it, try to figure out all the secrets. Because there's a percentage when you start the game up. It shows you uh, the percentage of how much you've uh, gone through the castle. And me and my brother would always uh, look for it. This was before... Well, no, I think game pack is sort of around. It was... No, yeah, maybe I should be. Recklessly throw away the holy water. And we go through a red door, which takes us to a new area. But yeah, CD, Count Dracula, or I always looked at it like, oh, we're playing the game on CD. Before they did that. Anyways, we get our shield potion, and we're all the way back here. But as you can see, there's new enemies. And we get I don't think it's as good as the uh, hide caress. No, it's. Anyways, I'm gonna head back. But yeah, okay, so I was talking about this in the last episode. There was this Let's Player, his name was Crime and Partner. He made like a, a perfect Let's Play of this game. Anyways, because he showed off all the rare stuff. You know what? I'm gonna use a. Um, I'm gonna use a potion. And that brings back 50 or so. I don't know. I don't know. But I wanted to use it because guess what? You get more po. You can actually buy potions later on. Yeah, this is the first game, well, I won't say it's the first game, but it's a, it's a game where they, you know, the Belmont's not the main character, which is kind of cool. Changing up the style, bringing on a new, bringing on a new character, well, not really a new character, but some people have never played Castlevania 3. Ooh, we get a boomerang. It's a sub-weapon. It's an item that you can equip and then use it like, uh, not like your sub weapon up there, but just like, I'm, I'll, I might show it off, I might not. Get some more. There we go, another night down. But yeah. You just vibe through this game. You just play the music and listen. I, I've done it. I'm not gonna lie. Just, just turn on the music and just working and doing my thing. Washing dishes. You know how it is. Video game soundtracks. But yeah, it's uh sometimes it is kind of cool the little effect that Alucard has there when he's jumping. Got all these uh, like shadowy thing on him. Come on, jump up there. Right, I'm not following you. Forget you. I'm having trouble doing just simple jumps. Jeez Louise. Right. 
And there you go. You get to see how the shield works. Jump up here, there we go. Alright, so here we go up this stairs here. No, I want the holy water. We're gonna save our game again. We're gonna continue on through this area. But yeah, what else can I say about this game that hasn't been said before? I mean Lots of great things. So yeah, okay, so this is the PlayStation version. I might have mentioned in the last episode that there's a couple of different versions. So they made a, a remake of Rondo of Blood back in the day. I think it was originally on the PSP. And they have a version of that. And, they, they, and one of the special things in that game is that you can unlock uh, the, this version. But you unlock a Symphony of Night, the one that they redid. I think there's a Sega Saturn. Wait a moment. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? Clock? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Alucard. Not the talkative type, I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again, if you live that long. Farewell. Bye, Maria. Now, interestingly enough, when you played this game the first time and you never played Rondo of Blood, you're like, who the hell is that? Maria has actually grown up quite a bit in those four years between Rondo of Blood and this game. And, uh, yeah, so they re they did, I think it was called Dracula or Castlevania Chronicles X or something. And they had the, rem the 3D version of of uh, Rondo of Blood, plus a uh, upgraded version of Symphony of the Night, which added a couple of things. There was like a fight in this game later on, which I'll bring up when we get there. That uh, that basically they, they didn't add in this game, and I guess there were some other familiars or things that they didn't add, and I'll show you what familiars are later. But yeah, so, it's kind of a continuation, and it's fun. Um, no, I'm not going back. I can't go back. Oh my god. Oh, and then we get the Bible. You know what, let me show you the, how the Bible works. It's basically a protective barrier that goes around you that's kind of cool. Anyways, here's the Bible. Knock the crap out of you. Now, since this game was released originally, exclusively from the PlayStation, they didn't, ha they didn't have to worry about uh, any of that stuff that they had to worry about when they were dealing with Nintendo and they were doing all that sensitive stuff where it's like you can't have... Am I missing? I thought I'd eventually get that item where I can see the enemies. Maybe it's later. Anyways, the Nintendo had that whole thing where they're like kid friendly and stuff. Uh, and look, there's a floating eye out there. You see that eye out there? Top of the big lizard thing or whatever the hell it is. And the reason why Alucard's going blue there is because he's he's filling up his uh his magic after he levels up. Alucard can't do spells, I just don't remember how to do them. They're like things you gotta do with like 
like, like Street Fighter combo things. No, I like that. I'm gonna hold on to the Bible. And yeah, I don't know why the girl... The freaking thing has a scream. The flower. That's weird. Hey, right, welcome to the outer wall. We get our first item that's uh, bullshit. Well, not really BS, but... It doesn't really do anything. They're just sellable items. they gems you get throughout the game. Oh, God. Yeah, forget that guy. That guy's really tough. Maybe if I had a holy one, I'd probably beat him. But that guy, that guy will murder the hell out of you. So don't go and fight him yet. We're not ready. And occasionally, you'll find a chair in the game, and you can have Alucard sit in it, and just chill out. You can do that. It's kind of fun. And you see there's a bird here, there's rain. Depending on when you come in this area, there'll be different things with weather. And if we hit up over here... Yeah, if we hit up over here, we can look through the telescope. And over here, we get to see the boat, and the famous boat from... Um, West. He's back. He's ready to bring us. He's back and he's ready to send us on a trip. Uh, no. I wonder if I should have gone. Oh, that was awesome. Come on. Can you just jump up there for God's sake. Yeah, there's the classic Medusa heads. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna beat him. I think I'm gonna be able to beat him though, but it's like something really good over here. I'm not gonna tempt fate. Let's keep going up. No healing in sight. Don't walk away from me, sir. I need. I need to get to a safe point quickly. And look, here's another chair we can sit in. Oops. It's just having a relaxing time. Okay. Let's save our game. And we're doing pretty good. Now we can actually go take on that guy, because I'm not afraid to, like, die now. But I didn't want to, like, lose all that good progress. Okay, let me go try to take him on. Again. I probably need like the axe of the holy water at this point to beat that guy. And yeah, I just can't get up there yet. Let's see if I can beat this one a little bit. Yeah! Beat it, dude. Oh god, it's gonna be a bitch getting over here. So yeah. Pot roast. And then if you just come over here and wait. Magical warp down to this area, and we get jewel knuckles and a mirror cuirass, which is much better. Well, I was gonna say it's much better, but it's not really. 
And these jewel knuckles are pretty strong for this point in the game. I'm gonna actually equip them. And yes, we don't. We may not be able to. All right, we gotta head up. We may not be able to um, fight like really good, but and this is this is a secret even I didn't know about these jewel knuckles. I found this out in the Prime Partner game. Or let's play. So let's go beat the boss now, because there's a save point that was over there. And... Now we're really close range. But that's okay. Because we got like uber attack. And the mirror the mirror armor that we have actually protects us from from, from petrification. So that's pretty good. Save our game. We're gonna save the game. We're going. I think I'm gonna beat the boss here, go to the next save point, and then that'd be that. I think. Anyways, this is the game I'm gonna be playing for a bit. I'm gonna be working on this, and hopefully, I'll be streaming Mother, the Mother series, because uh, I want to thank uh, Patreon Nork Finor for um, basically uh, becoming a a patron on my Patreon channel. There'll be links in the description below. Uh, and yeah, thank you for doing that. And that's why we can play this game. Yeah, it's tough to get to, get to him, but once you get to him, you can beat his face. And beat him. And yeah, this is like level 5 doppelganger or something like that. And as you can see, he has a bunch of really nice powers by kick to death. And sometimes it's nice to be able to toy around with your boss. That way you can, uh... That way you can, uh, basically... Hear the sweet battle music. Now we get a Gladius, which is pretty good. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep these on for a little while longer, and then I'll probably change over. Now I can't get over there yet, so I'm not gonna bother. You can't open that because that's uh, an elevator that you can't open at the moment. We could go there, but we're not gonna yet. Look at this guy, it's a skeleton of a monkey or gorilla or something. Now we got arrows, riflemen, ghost rifle hook. And there's something there, we want to get that. How do we get that, I wonder? Oh, here's another sword, dude. Yeah, the yellow Medusa heads are the ones that will turn you to stone. The blue ones are just the annoying ones. And they're real annoying. But if we come over here and we punch this, the elevator is now activated. Sweet! So now we can use it in order to get to wherever that we need to get to. Ugh, I meant to jump there. This music reminds me... No, I don't, oh yeah, I guess you can't get it again. Anyways, it kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy Tactics for some reason. I don't know why. I just think of Final Fantasy Tactics when I think of this. So. The outer wall. It's very nice. I think this is a save point. Yes. I'm not overriding data or wishing to save. We're going to head down just a little bit more and uh, save it. So yeah, um, basically what my goals are for the remainder of this is I'm going to be working on this streaming Mother, the Mother series. Uh, on Twitch, probably. Probably. Alright, and then eventually uploading it to here, or to YouTube. And then, um, what else am I doing? And we get our 
first thing where we can transform the soul of the wolf. And we can transform into a wolf, but the wolf can't really... I think it's one of these buttons. There we go. R2. And you can't really do much with the wolf. At the moment. You're a little faster, but that's really it. Alright, let's look at my map. Let's head over here. Even though it's a red door and it leads you to a different spot, I think this is a for our first warp point. So yeah, if you use this uh, thing here, it'll be orange on your map now. And you go over here and go into the keyhole that's covered with mermen. You'd come over here and go over here. Look at that. You get to warp to this section here. And I believe we can come out here, get an item, and then go back in. There we go. Now we can head back that way if we need to. But we don't, so... Let's head... I want to get to the library. That's our next point of destination, then I'm going to stop the video. And yeah. Yeah, and then we'll continue on with this game. I figure it's probably going to take on a, maybe, honestly, I don't know, 20 parts potentially, maybe less, depends on how much, uh, how much progress I make. Yeah, I love one shot these guys. Makes you feel powerful. Alright, this is the door. Actually, I want to go in the elevator. Oh, I guess I... Oh! I was gonna say... You can't sum... You could summon it like that. I was like... So I can't summon the damn elevator like that. And here we go into the next area. This area is called the library. The long library. Not the short library. The long library. And you wanna watch out for those guys, because those guys those guys uh, hit you hard. And we picked up our un uncurse, which is uh item that we can use to decursify ourselves. Die, Fleetman. You don't belong in this world. One of my all-time favorites is right here, this track. Good song. And later we can come over here and jump up there and do some fun stuff, but we can't right now. Bronze Caress is just as good as the mirror's armor, so we're going to keep that on instead. But yeah, good stuff. Uh, one thing I did want to mention with the remake that they did of Rondo of Blood and it was 3D and they redid this I guess they redid the Saturn version or whatever. They added new sound or voice actor and stuff and they updated the script a little bit. Not that the script is like super um super different. I mean it's just like they Yeah okay so if you touch these guys you could And if you get cursed, you can't attack, so... But, uh, yeah, so they changed the dialogue around, and, you know, I wanted to play it with the... with the dialogue that I remember. Even though the, um... the new one has some good, good stuff. But, you know... I figured I'd play the one that I remember. Let's go up here. End up going through the entire library before we, uh. I think the boss, you don't have to fight the boss yet. Alright, fairy scroll. 
what this does is it tells you oh God, it tells you the name of that creature that you're beating the crap out of. I love punching books. Give me a book, I'll punch it. And this guy is in uh he was in uh, he was in, uh Castlevania 3. It's been a long time, old one. Oh, it's you, Master Alucard. What do you need? What do you need? I need your help. Young master, I cannot aid one who opposes the master. You won't go unrewarded. Yes, uh, money. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. Money is the root of all evil. So I'm interested first, in this. So we're gonna sell. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna sell that. I'm interested and in this. And then you can buy tactics to like watch. How to I'm interested in this. This. And then you can check out the. Um, you can check out how much experience they give you and like what they drop and what they're weak to. It's kind of cool. They give you the level. Cool. All right. So let's go here. I'm interested in this. So the thing we're gonna buy right now is the jewel of open. This will unlock Thank you. blue doors. This will lead us back towards the um, the marble gallery, and we'll be able to um, we'll be able to do some good stuff there. So I'm gonna actually buy a. I'm gonna buy a library Thank card, because what that does is it brings you right back to the library. And then eventually, maybe I'll buy some of this stuff. I will buy a Thank castle you. map. I will buy this. Thank you. This gives you the spell called Dark Metamorphosis. And I think that's pretty much everything I'm gonna buy, I think, for the time being. What shield do I have on right now? I'll buy Thank a blood you. shield. And I'll buy a blood shield. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So there we go. Farewell for now. Farewell for now. Oh, I do already have a leather shield. Then why not say... Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll eventually get some more good stuff. Let's see. So the library card will bring you directly back to the library, which is pretty cool. I wish you could sell weapons in this game. Weapons and armor. Alright, so I'm gonna get back to the save point outside the outer wall, and then the next episode, we're gonna head back to the marble gallery with our new blue open drill to let us uh, be able to explore some places we we're not able to explore really. It'll be a lot of fun and I need to collect more money. Yeah, Dark Metamorphosis is like remember correctly is like a spell. You have to like you have to do a certain combination like if you're trying to free fighter and I think what it does is it like come on. I think what it does is it like Yeah, I don't want to be wrong. Well, I'll probably end up being wrong, but if you remember what Dark Metamorphosis is, I think it's like whatever enemy bleeds, you'll actually like get. You're actually. Um, yeah, see, now I'm cursed. You'll actually. Uh, so let's use that. And now I'm uncursed, and now I just killed you because you're a son of a bitch. But no, what was the. So yeah, if there's an enemy that bleeds, you can. I think suck the blood out of them or something. Oh, yeah, and there's no, there are no save points in the library, at least over here. Now, for the most part, you probably don't need to buy any, 
any uh, scene. Now, as you can see, it's all kinds of uh, fogging stuff. And yeah, as you can see, the castle map now, we now have it. It shows you a, a portion of the castle, not, not everything. Some spots are very secret. And we'll come back later with this whole thing and do. So we'll be getting an ability later that might let us be able to jump twice, maybe. And then with that, we'll be able to really explore a lot of the castle. But I'm actually going to save the game here. And in the next episode, we will continue on with exploring the castle. And finding more good stuff. So I've been Peter Kench 1913. I hope you've been enjoying this let's play. I want to thank again, Nock Fenor for uh, being a patron and, and uh, yeah, uh, helping out with the reason why this is getting going. So I've been Pete Country 1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.